Hi everybody, it is Monday, July 25th. Um, we've got a little, excuse me, stuck to a chair here. Um, next time I'll have to wear pants. Um, we uh, had a 24 hour bus ride yesterday coming from Minneapolis to New Jersey. Um, so completely waste, thank God we have a day off today. Just kind of, and then I thought, oh, it could be nice just to get out and go for a nice walk. And then I looked out this morning uh, when I got up, and it was pouring rain. <laughs> you know, the glamour of all of this is just incredible. Um, but the shows are great, so I, I, I'm, I could never complain. I'm playing music for people with people I adore working with. So whatever bus rides or whatever inclement weather we have to deal with, we do. Um, but it's it's been great so far, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I saw a great clip um, earlier uh, today of the new uh, the Newport Folk Festival, and Joni Mitchell sang for the first time in a long, long time. I mean, it's miraculous that Joni is still amongst us because she went through such a bad period um, with health, and um, and to see her on stage singing uh um let me grab a little touch of this yeah she was with brandy carlisle sang with her and winona judd was also sitting right behind her singing along and joni just looks you know she's they're sitting in like thrones up there which is so fitting um joni's absolutely one of the most remarkable artists i've ever had the great joy to work with and know. Um, the, uh, the breadth of her musical experience is really just astounding. Um, and then her artistic endeavors, her writing, her, her painting, uh, she's quite, a, quite an amazing, amazing um, woman, a, a true treasure in this world. And to see her up there singing again uh, was really something. It really was very emotional to see this video. It's worth checking out if you can. Uh, it's on you. It's uh, it was I found I found it on Facebook, but it's on YouTube. So uh, just uh, you know, pull up uh, Joni Mitchell at the Newport Folk Festival. It just happened. So this is this is current. Um, let's see what else is going on. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and revisit another artist um, who I, I did way back. If you want to check out a long story and experience with him, go back to video number, I just found it, video number 324. And that's Tony Joe White. And um, we did an album called Lake Placid Blues. And this was back in 1995. Um, I was always a fan of uh, Tony, I mean, like Poke Salad Annie and the night the lights went out in Georgia. And I mean, his, his history as a writer was strong, but he had just one of those voices and that real kind of Bayou Swamp kind of Southern thing was really good. And, and we went to England together to do a, uh, a festival at the Crystal Palace with James Taylor and Tony was involved in that. Um, but I tell a whole bunch of story on that other video, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and just play some music from this album. I only did one song in the past, and so I'm going to do a couple of them this time just to show you what's going on. And the band on this is myself on bass, uh, Kurt Biscara, Kirky B, on drums, Ben Montench on, on organ on this from Tom Petty's band, Luis Conti on percussion, who does damn near everything, um, it's, it's, it's so, this room is the darkest room I've ever been in. I've got three lamps on it. I can barely see anything in here. A uh, Jim Spake on saxophone, and the background singers are Marlena White and Natalie Jackson. So here's a song called Bayou Woman, Bayou Woman, from Tony Joe White's Lake Placid Blues album. <laughs> Tony's singing and playing guitar. Across the river, and I was calling as he slowly made his rounds. A midnight dew was softly falling. Thank you. 
I would venture to say that Mark Knopfler probably listened to a lot of Tony Joe White. Um, there's, there's so much in this music that really harkens to uh, Mark's work. Um, and uh, he, a lot of guys listened to, to Tony, you know, really were uh, totally dug his style of playing and his vocals and everything. He's a really unique artist, that's for sure, and sweetheart of a guy. Um, here's a song called Wampus Kitty. So funky to play with. fun when you're just goofing around in the studio between songs you're going to be doing and they and the engineer is smart enough to leave the machine running and then they just have fun you got a little minute and a half's worth of just go ahead here's a song called the guitar don't lie Yeah, all the dreams, but now all they 
some nights it gets old and makes them aware the time is slipping away. If you look close, it is darker than under the lights. There's traces of gray. all about to feel down and out he's been mad before he's seen it all and you learn to survive with your back to the wall it's a crazy old life and the guitar It's the kind of stuff I always love, playing in a club, you know, somebody like that. You just get that smoky atmosphere that, oh, stop sending me messages. But just in there, just people are just in the space, man. It is, it is so much fun. Tony, it's so good. I yeah, just love that style. Um, here's a, what's called Yo-Yo Man slash Garter Belt. Let's see what we got here, and then I'm going to get running. <laughs> Let's get into that poke cell at anything here. <laughs>
losing. Fun cat to play with, badass guitar player, love that voice, is that? Mm -hmm. Really great, really great. Um, so I am going to get running now. I'm gonna see if it stopped raining. I'd really love to get out and go for a walk. Um, I just, it was coming down really funky, but when I just looked out the window before I started this, the uh, flag outside the window was hanging. Uh, when I looked out earlier today, it was blowing really hard. So I'll just go down and take my chances with whatever's happening down there. Um, you know, it just came off of a, another weekend. My, my heart's going out to everybody that's still dealing, you know, with the public uh, in terms of COVID. Uh, it has not gone anywhere. And now we've got monkeypox on top of that to deal with. And those numbers are going up. But... There's people that are writing to me from all over the world talking about how the COVID numbers are going back up with the new variants. Uh, they may not be as horrible for you as the, as the first round of stuff, if, but if you've had your shots and you've had your boosters, the odds are you're gonna come out of this fine. Um, it's pretty rare that anybody gets really, really ill if they've had all their medications. and. Those that are still refusing to do it, it's just going to be what it's going to be. But I've had a number of friends now that didn't believe in it that are now dead and buried. And uh, it breaks my heart that they're not here anymore. But especially to the healthcare workers and grocery store workers and postal, everybody, everybody who comes in contact with the public, you know, I thank you for your diligence throughout all of this period and and again Ukraine is still raging over there and it's just horrible and now they're talking about China may invade Taiwan I mean that's the world you know you sit there like I had the post the other day looking at the the Jim Webb telescope and the wonders of the universe and you look back on this this ridiculous scene that's taking place on this planet all the time where, God, we are so fortunate to live on this miraculous little orb uh, in this expansive, uh, you know, never-ending universe. And here we are just crapping all over each other all the time and, and now making, with the heat issues, the, just the place will eventually be uninhabitable for what, for humanity. Something else will survive and the planet will always survive until the, uh, the sun 
in four billion years supposedly will burn out and then this will be gone. But um, boy, it'd be nice if we could just make the most positive best of it while we're here and work for each other and not against each other. So that's my soapbox for today. I'm going to go see what's possible. I actually have a, I just got an order for a anniversary cameo. So I'm going to do that and then I will head out and see what's going on. I love doing the cameos. I've done about 150 of them now. I love it every time from birthdays to anniversaries to, you know, tell our bass player he sucks and needs to practice from a band, you know, and whatever anybody wants, I'll, I say to him, and it's a little video that I send out. If you haven't checked out Cameo and you're interested, it's just, it's an app called Cameo and there's lots of people on it and you just, uh, uh, you just buy a few minutes of time and uh, we, I'll go ahead and, uh, and do whatever you like on it. So, you know. I'm a musician, you know, I, 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 I'm here at your beck and call. So I'm going to get running. You take good care. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow I will be doing a venue tour since we're off today. Uh, there's no venue to go look at. And the video, I put up two videos today. This will be the second one. The first one on Facebook, I found a uh, wonderful video that um, is about Brad Le Laley. Uh, our sax player who's been in all the uh, videos of, of all the venues. And it's a little more information about him and stuff that I was unaware of. So it's a really neat thing. I was really glad I found it. So I thought that was well worth putting up because a lot of people keep asking about Brad and his history and everything. And I talked to Russ and Russ is going to do a video for us um, going over his kit, uh, his whole setup and everything for all the uh, the drummers out there who would be curious about that. He said, oh, I'll be happy to. So I'll do that hopefully at some point this week and uh, be featuring more of the guys out here. So take good care and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.